Rihanna is back. Well, kind of. She finally gave us what we've all wanted for years, new music, but it came in the form of a collab with Party Next Door, and some fans are upset to say the least. What's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr. bringing you breaking news updates from my in-home Clever studio. And if you're in Rihanna's Navy, you've been patiently waiting for new music for four years now. Her last musical work was the release of her album Auntie in 2016. Since then, Riri has been slaying the fashion and beauty worlds, breaking records, and making history left and right. She became the first black woman to head a luxury brand under LVMH and then won a 2019 British Fashion Award for her label Fenty. So yeah, it's safe to say Rihanna has been doing just fine over the past four years, but her fans on the other hand have been craving any hint at new music. She's been teasing her upcoming album R9 for what feels like forever now, even sharing snaps from inside the recording studio. And she's been torturing us with posts like this one where she shared this video and wrote quote, Update, me listening to R9 by myself and refusing to release it. So as you can imagine, when she announced that she will be featured on Party Next Door's new track, Believe It, fans basically lost their mind. As soon as Rihanna tweeted, fans responded saying things like, Rihanna the singer is really back back? And, oh, you're a musician again? Hopefully R9 is coming after this, ma'am. Yeah, so clearly they were excited to see that she was actually releasing music again. The single dropped at midnight last night via Drake's label, and in case you're wondering, Rihanna and Party Next Door have worked together in the past. They previously worked on her single Work featuring Drake, as Party Next Door was one of the co-writers. Rihanna and Party sing together and harmonize on the upbeats and chorus of this new song. Riri is heard singing, Best Make Me Believe It, Best Make Me Believe It, Believe You Won't Deceive Me. Best make me believe it. Best make me be and as excited as fans were to hear this new song featuring Rihanna, many are disappointed that a feature is all they got after all these years of waiting. They have taken to Twitter to share their frustrations. One fan shared this video and wrote, quote, I thought Rihanna was gonna have a whole verse on Party Next Door's album, but it was just backup vocals. Another said, when we finally get crumbs from Rihanna and she's just repeating the same damn five words on Believe It with Party Next Door, and another wrote, you telling me Rihanna thought a feature was gonna make up for the album? Oh, okay. But while some fans were bummed that Rihanna didn't give them enough, other fans were just happy to get literally anything music related from Riri. Let me know where you stand on this song down in the comment section below. But one person tweeted saying, Rihanna literally said five words and I'm out here crying and putting it on loop. Queen Riri, we miss you. Another shared this video and said, me listening to Rihanna repeat the same five words on Party Next Door's Believe It after waiting two years to get a new Riri song. And another wrote, quote, Rihanna did the bare minimum on her Party Next Door feature, but I'ma still accept it, LOL. And earlier this week, Drake even got involved asking Rihanna to drop her album ASAP. On Tuesday, Rihanna and Drake were among the virtual attendees tuning in to a live stream on DJ Spade's Instagram account. Like many of us, they're hanging out at home watching various IG live streams and going back and forth in the comment section of the live. Drake ended up teasing Rihanna and urged Rihanna to release her album. He jokingly said, Rihanna, drop R12 right now. Wait, did he say R12? I mean, maybe Rihanna's been working on more music than we thought. Or maybe Drake was just messing around. Regardless, we clearly are all ready for this album whenever she's willing to share it with us. Like seriously, any day now. I feel like we could all use a Rihanna album now more than ever, right? Let us know your thoughts on all this in the comments section below. And then when you're done with that, make sure you click right over here to watch another breaking news story. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss a single thing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. and I'll see you right back here on Clever News very soon.